Good evening. This is M. Shanae for Hi-Fi in the Low Light. Guys, I am excited to tell you about the iFi Nano IDSD Black Label. I do want to thank iFi Audio for extending me the opportunity to hear it. And I want to talk about what sets it apart first. Three things that I like about it that are unique. The first is that it has MQA rendering. I personally don't listen to MQA. If you like title lossless streaming, if MQA rendering is important to you, if MQA support is important to you, this is the first portable product that I've encountered that has that feature, that software, that rendering built into it. The second thing that makes it unique is that it has a variety of analog outputs. Now, analog connectivity gets me excited. I love the simplicity of plugging in a cable and having, that's it, just plug it in and go. So let's talk about it. So there are two outputs for your headphones and your in-ear monitors. There's the proprietary IE match, which is for high sensitivity, low impedance in-ear monitors or headphones. And then they have the direct. The direct is for normal impedance, normal sensitivity headphones. You can also use a balanced tip ring ring sleeve headphone and cable to get better separation, better channel separation, which makes for a even more spacious image. But for the most part, single end and balanced connectors and headphones were very similar. The other neat thing is you have a dedicated line out, 3.5 millimeter. Now you guys can also see the third feature that makes this unique. That is the hardware switch that is labeled filter. Yeah, digital filters that you control with an analog toggle. I like it. There's no software menu to have to filter through. There's a flick of a switch. There's two of them. There's listen and there's measure. For nine out of 10 headphones, I like to keep the filter set to listen. For one in 10 headphones, I like it set at measure. I do want to speak briefly about the difference in the sound of each of the filters. Nine out of 10 headphones, I found that the listen, the listen filter was better. Now I find themselves recommend the listen filter because it emphasizes the transients and does help improve the resolve. I found this to be the case. Listen also, in my opinion, gives it that smoothness, that cohesiveness that I find pleasurable. On the other hand, the measure filter, the measure filter breaks up some of that smoothness in exchange for more impact, more slam, a little bit more aggression, and a little bit less resolve. I liked the listen filter with the majority of my collection, but there was one big exception. The most beautiful sounding headphone under $200 ever, the Hi Feynman AT4XX, sounded phenomenal with the measure filter. The measure filter paired nicely with what is already an organic, already a very warm, lush, smooth sounding headphone. The iFi Nano IDSD Black Label is very spacious regardless of what filter that you're using. The difference between listen and measure is the resolve and the smoothness. For a headphone like the AT4XX, which is already quite well resolved and quite smooth, switching to measure gives it some energy, some impact, some dynamics that it greatly benefits from. So the choice will be up to you as to which filter that you find most enjoyable. When I use it just as a DAC, I kept it on listen because I didn't really like the extra energy that measure brought because the amps themselves bring the dynamics in my opinion. Nonetheless, again, guys, you're gonna wanna, if you get this product, play with the filter and see what works best for your headphones and for your own personal taste. So the name of the game is always balance. With the listen filter, I found that the iFi Nano IDSD Black Label, which is a mouthful to say, had a super smooth, balanced, cohesive sound. It is by far the most spacious portable product that I've listened to in this price bracket. It is $199. What I liked about it was it was super spacious. It was super airy. It presented such a large soundstage with such amazing precision. I compared it to my HM601 and my Shandling M2S. Both of those players sounded kind of intimate in comparison. Now, in some cases, 
Both of those players had a bit more resolve, but they never had a more spacious image. And big, open, vast soundscapes are really cool to listen to. That is the kind of clarity that I expect from systems. The Shandling M3S and Aeon B1S, that system has that same level of openness. Now that system also has a bit more power, a bit more resolve. It is a better system, but it is also you know, $350 more and in a different price category. Now let's talk about value. Where does this product fit into your personal audio playback collection or lifestyle? If you're like me and you have a lot of tech, and you like to listen to music from a lot of different pieces of tech, you like to stream, you like to have local lossless support, you have a couple of in-ear monitors, you have a couple of headphones, this is the product for you. This is a phenomenal secondary system in a box. What it does compared to the digital audio players that I've mentioned before is it has a more spacious sound and it has a much more aggressive suite of hardware connectivity and compatibility options. That little filter switch really just makes it magic for whatever you pair it to because the two sounds are a little bit different. The other thing that I like about this is the power output. My AT4XX had just, oh God, it was good. It had all the headroom that I wanted. The sound was just so on point, so on point. Very pleasurable to listen to. All of my greater style headphones were again on point. They were very pleasurable to listen to. My modified Audio-Technica ES10 was such a pleasure to listen to. This was a product that whatever I plugged it into, it sounded good. I had the two outputs to choose from between high sensitivity or normal sensitivity, and I had the filter to change things up. So with a wide variety of gear, if you've got a bunch of, a bunch of sources, a bunch of tech, you've got a bunch of amplifiers, you have a collection of in-ear monitors, you have a collection of headphones, this is the product for you. If you're curious about MQA, like I am, and you're maybe thinking that mm, this might be something I might want to try, this is a product that you're going to find will support that curiosity. With any Android device or Mac device, it's plug and play, which I found to be enjoyable. The male connector is already on the device itself. You simply plug in a female, plug it into the device that you want to listen to, and that's it. So again, in conclusion, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank iFi Audio for giving me the chance to listen. Again, this is an excellent product for anybody looking for that magic home away from home little device. So if you have questions, guys, leave them in the comment section down below. Remember to like and subscribe and have a great night.